Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. Bro! What's up guys, this is Silly Goose, and I'm going to be showing you a shortcut on the mission Assault on the Control Room. Um, so basically what you want to do is just, once you spawn into the level, you want to kill everybody in these this one area and try to get through it with as much health as possible. And when you get here, you're going to want to switch to Classic Mode, and uh, we'll begin the uh, shortcut. So here's one of the ways to get down um, for what I'm calling part one of this uh, part three type thing to get down this mountain. Once you go out this door, you're going to want to make a right and you're going to want to stand on the very edge uh, like I'm standing now and you're going to want to crouch and slowly walk off the back. And then once you walk off the back and you're falling, you can see this um, like darker circle. It's black. Um, you want to land on that black circle so you don't fall off the edge. The second way you can get down to that area is if you go through this door and make a left. Um, if you just kill that grunt in front of you if there is one, uh, just keep running and hold forward as you jump off and you should slide down that uh, rock hill a little and land perfectly then just walk down to the lowest point and you'll be where you need to be. So now we're at part two of uh, making our way down this mountain. Um, you're going to want to run up this little hill uh, just a little bit. And if you look off the side, as I'm pointing out right now, as you can see a little differential in color of the hill. Like the, the bottom of it is more black than the top. And what you want to do is you want to run and you want to walk off the edge just a little higher or right at that black spot. So once you run forward and you're falling off the mountain, you wanna keep holding forward and you wanna slowly turn your analog stick to the left and you wanna land kind of in between these two like dark areas on the snow. So you're, you're landing on a light area in between these two dark areas right here. And then uh, you know you make it when you're landing as close as you can to the top of this little hill if you're landing in the middle, sometimes you'll just die. Um, sometimes you'll just fall off the mountain. Uh, it's gonna take you a lot of tries. This is probably the hardest part of making your way down this hill. But you just gotta keep at it, keep at it. It took me a few tries to actually get this right, but now I can do it just in a few tries. So this is all about practice. Um, so once you make your way um, down this mountain, I usually do this little jump right here. Um, just in case I'm gonna fall off, it'll give me a little boost and maybe I can hang on. And uh, we'll make our way to part three of making our way down the hill. You're gonna want to make a left and then just walk this path right here. And then you'll see this like dip in the mountain. Um, you want to go past the dip in the mountain to this first crease right here. And then once you're at the first crease, you're gonna look down and you're gonna see like this dark area of the rock and you're gonna wanna aim for that uh, spot I'm shooting at right there. So you just wanna run off the side of the mountain. You don't jump or anything, just run off. Aim for that part of the mountain and hit it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna aim for this rock right here and hit it right there. Um, if you hit it in a different spot or you don't slide enough on the mountain, you could just die instantly. Um, that's why I told you um, when you were fighting all those bad guys at the beginning to make sure you keep as much health as you can um, for, And that's for this part right here So if you do happen to hit the rock and you do take damage you will hopefully have enough shields to not die But then you're, you're down the mountain So um, I'll just speed the rest of this video up um, if you're playing on heroic or legendary you're going to want to take out, take down this banshee right here because it can give you problems and it can kill you. 
So I would recommend taking that out. And then this pelican will drop off a uh, warthog right here. You just want to wait for that. Hop in that bad boy. And I'm just going to fast forward the rest of this level so you can see where to go. Um, and that's basically it. You can turn this probably 30 minute or more legendary level into just probably five, 10 minutes if you, um, depending on how long it takes you to do this. But, uh, yep, I'll thank you guys now for watching and, uh, see you later.